Welcome back to Triple Seven. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to check the integrity of a file using the MD5 hash value. An MD5 hash value is a fingerprint essentially for a file. By checking it and checking it with the original uh, generated one with the uploaded file to a website, you can check if the file has been modified at all since it's been uploaded to the website. So essentially, you can make sure that your download from a website is in exactly a duplicate copy of the one from the website. I'll show you guys exactly how to do this um, in this video and what a good example of it would be. I'll link the description below to this website right here that allows you to uh, download WinMD5 free, which is a free application, a portable application, and a very lightweight application that essentially shows you the MD5 hash value for a file. It also allows you to enter in the original uh, MD5 checksum value and it will compare the two to make sure they're identical. So if you go to the bottom of the page, you can click right here and download the file. Um, I threw it on the desktop already and I suggest you do the same. So we'll go ahead and open up the zip file and we shall take the um, WinMD5 uh, exe file and we'll just copy it to the desktop. So basically how it works is you're going to open it up and the application does support uh, drag and drop so that's the easy way to do it. We're going to take this WinMD5 uh, zip file and we're going to drop it in there. It will calculate the MD5 checksum value. And that is it right there. So what we can do is we can actually take the original one from their website and compare the two. We'll right click that one and we'll paste it in here. And we'll hit verify. And we'll say matched. So basically what it is telling us is that the file on our desktop is a duplicate match to the one on the website. So essentially the file has not been modified whatsoever. And sometimes this kind of stuff happens when you download it over the internet. If the connection kind of uh, gets disrupted, it may not download a file properly inside the folder. And so therefore the um, MD5 checksum will actually be a different value. And then that way you know the file is not original to the one on the server and it may not work the same. A lot of websites provide this information and allows you to check your download to make sure it's a 100% match to the original one that was uploaded to the website. So for another demo, I pulled up um, some ISOs that I own here or not, that I have. And for example, here's a Windows um, 7 64-bit ISO. So if I drop that in there, it takes a little bit longer to compute. So basically, depending on how long it's going to take, is going to completely straight out your computer. So my computer is recording audio and different things. So it's going to be a tad slower than normal. Um, but the larger the file, the longer it will take to compute the number, the hash value, the uh, checksum value for MD5. But as it's finishing up here, um, it will display us the value down here. And that is the value for that file. If I was to go into the website from Microsoft, it would be identical to the one they tell me that in the blue download. And uh, yeah, guys, that is, that's pretty much it for the video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this little tutorial on uh, WinMD5 and MD5 checksums and hash values in general. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave those below. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Hacker0007, and I'm signing off.